whatever you're pursuing in life, if it's writing, if it's a career change, if it's kids, parenting, like whatever we're pursuing, whatever our goals are, there are always these snags that we encounter along the way. And when we encounter a snag, let's say someone doesn't accept your article submission, or you um, don't have as much time as you thought because a family issue came up. Whenever we hit these snags, we really have this choice of, of how we're gonna think about them. Are we going to let that snag define our journey and kind of decide, oh, well this snag is showing me that I shouldn't do this or maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. We can let the snags define our journey or we can see them just for what they are. Like, hey, that's just a snag. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep pursuing this. And the reason I wanted to share this with you is that so often as writers, we have these snags that we encounter internally and externally. So maybe you're writing and you hit a snag where it's doubt and you're wondering like, oh, is this story good enough? Who am I to be writing? That snag, you can let it define you and slow you down. Or what I love doing is realizing, you know what, every single person, every single writer feels doubt. So this does not disqualify me. It actually just means I'm human and I can keep going, keep pursuing my goal. So I just wanna encourage you, if you are experiencing snags this week, whether it's with your time, with your feelings, um, with something externally, don't let those define you or your journey as a writer, but really look at them just for what they are. Like it's a snag, we all have these things come up. And the most important thing that you can do is to keep moving forward, keep taking that next step, take a break if you need to, binge watch Netflix for a night, <laughs> whatever you need, um, but then just keep moving forward because snags are a part of life, definitely a part of the writing life, and I don't want you to let those define you. So that is my encouragement.